school that uh, I have uh, retired. I will tell you that despite what some of you think uh, that was voluntary, I was not compelled to do so. I had a discussion with the mayor. Um, given the circumstances that's uh, in litigation, which I will not be able to discuss, um, I just thought for the uh, greater good of uh, all citizens of Philadelphia, fine police officers here, uh, and the mayor, that it would be better um, if I just move along, given everything else that we have to contend with, that this issue would be a distraction that this department and this city don't need. And so my love for this organization, my love for this city, uh, has compelled me to make a decision that is bigger than me. Um, it is with great regret that I leave something that I enjoy, but we've been through a lot in the last three and a half years. Been through a great deal. Um, we've had some good days, not so good days. Certainly, uh, some of them were on me, uh, but you think about the wonderful work this department did with the DNC that went off almost flawlessly, uh, Super Bowl parade, the draft, those lists go on and on just every day. And, and, and obviously I'd be remiss if I didn't mention the valor and bravery exhibited by the men and women last week uh, out there on 15th Street. And so the list goes on and on, but I've been privileged to serve alongside some of the finest men and women in law enforcement many of whom are now friends to me. Uh, so I am uh, obviously lamenting, lamenting uh, a departure simply because it's something I've done for 30 years. But despite what some think, I am leaving of my own volition. Uh, I, I love this department too much to allow distractions like this. So we'll move on. And I don't know what else is in store, but we'll move on. And you will be under good leadership under uh, Commissioner Coulter now. I've known her for at least a quarter century. I hope that this city will give her a chance to do what is one of, arguably, one of the most difficult jobs in city government, that is being a police chief or a police commissioner. And so I wish her Godspeed. Uh, she's a remarkable woman. Uh, I know in the interim she'd be a great pick, and, you know, it is just my personal hope that she gets the job permanently. Uh, for a lot of reasons. Uh, I, I do think in addition to her abilities, and she's certainly as qualified as anybody else across the country, that it's, it's, it's time for this department to get a woman. And I'm just being candid. That's just my personal opinion. So uh, I'm thankful to the mayor for the opportunity that I've been granted over the last three and a half years. Uh, but I got to tell you, for me, uh, it's been a long road. I've been on that proverbial third floor, which is a deputy commissioner or higher, as many of you locals know, for over 14 years. And there's probably only one or two other people who have been up there that long. And it does take its toll on you after a while. I mean, because a city like this, uh, with its uh, inherent challenges that you all know about, uh, to be working on that level for so long, uh, having been blessed to come up very, very young, probably one of the youngest to ever go up there, um, it will take its toll on you after a while. And so I'd be disingenuous if I didn't say, you know, fatigue had set in anyway, independent of this issue. And, uh, you know, I, you just have to understand where you are in your space in life. Uh, as I said, I am not able to discuss anything about this issue legally, and that's from lawyers, uh, and so I will not. But I will tell you this and this only. And this is the only thing I'm going to say, so you can really save yourself a lot of trouble about asking questions about it. The only thing I will tell you is that in 55 years of life and 30 years of law enforcement, God and everybody else who knows me knows I have never targeted a person. I have never sought retribution on a person, personally or professionally. And so I take serious umbrage with that part of this issue, as well as others. But all I'm able to say right now is that my Lord and Savior knows what happened and what didn't happen. Uh, this legal case will uh, bear out some of those facts uh, in the weeks to come, but I'm not able to discuss them. 
at this point in time. I just uh, wish the people of this great city um, Godspeed. I love it. Uh, you've heard me say that my immediate family is the only ones uh, in the Rosses that are still here, and that is in large part because I love this city and I appreciate and know what it can do. And so there's still a lot of work to do. Certainly, I am still dismayed by the level of gun violence that we see across Philadelphia. It is one of the things that probably the biggest thing that has been taxing on me and many others for at least that last 14 years that I alluded to. Because whether those numbers go up or down from one year to the next, these are real families uh, behind this violence. And so if there is one takeaway, that is the thing that has been the albatross around my neck for a lot of years, even predating my 10 years commissioner. Um, I'm optimistic that work that can be done locally uh, will help to stem the tide of violence in this city, but it has to be done collectively. And I also hope that people understand that I personally, as well as many members of this department, wholeheartedly believe in police and criminal justice reform. I absolutely do. There are things about the justice system that had to change. However, there's also a realization that I think some need to come to, and that is we will not reform our way out of violence. There has to be balance in this issue. There must be balance, and uh, I'm hoping that you know, some smarter minds, some far smarter than me, will come to a realization that there has to be balance in all that we do uh, because it's not the only answer. So that being said, um, I don't, it's not many questions I'm going to answer, but you know, I want to go ahead and get you all farewell, particularly many of you that I've seen multiple times. Mr. Right. Sure. may I ask you how long you've been considering living voluntarily? Uh, i toyed with it a while. But I'll be honest with you, when you're a police chief, there's always one more thing to do. And then you reach a point where you just have to realize that one more thing is like chasing uh, your tail. I mean, because it's always going to be something. And certainly, uh, as you look at, you know, one of, my, one of our biggest controversies of late, the Plainview Project, you know, wanted not to throw that in anyone's lap with regard to discipline and what have you. Um, have contemplated things for a long time. Doesn't mean that I was absolutely going to do it, but people who know me the best, and many of them are standing behind me right now, know that I've had these discussions. They know, uh, uh, despite my love for this profession, of uh, the fatigue, and, and quite frankly, uh, you could say this was a catalyst, of course. I'd be uh, lying to you if I didn't say that, but you know, it, it wasn't the only thing. It wasn't the only decision. Um, and I just think at some point in time, you know, even relative to the issues we have that we face every day, particularly violence, perhaps sometimes it's a good idea to get a new set of eyes on it. Um, I've been at this level, at least uh, first deputy and commissioner, and even three years before that, so 14 plus years. So it's probably time for someone else's eyes to get a look on all of this in Philly PD. I think that's healthy in any business, in any organization. But please don't get the wrong impression. This is one of the hardest things I've ever done, uh, to walk away right now and to walk away, you know, with people believing what they believe. That's okay. I can't control that. But as I said, you know, I'm a spiritual person. God Almighty knows. He knows my heart. He knows who I am. And even people who don't know me personally but only know me loosely on this job and in the community know that it is not my spirit to be an evil person. And so I've never been that way. Um, I credit that to, you know, my beliefs and to my parents and how I was raised. And so at the end of the day, that's where we are. Um, as I said, I hope that everyone, including you folks, give Commissioner Coulter an opportunity to display what I know will be artful leadership. And she will be skilled at what she's doing. I know the men and women in this department will fall behind her because they will believe in her. And I just want to say in closing that I thank each and every one of them for what they do. Many times it's just thankless. Um, it's work that never ending. Uh, and in the climate we're in right now, it is certainly more challenging than ever. So I'm very careful about how I frame it. I know there are stats that say there are occupations that are certainly uh, more violent and dangerous, but not many that are more challenging than this one. And so I hope that through it all, people with issues with law enforcement, and some of them are certainly legit,
at our collective hearts and minds, me as a resident now, we understand that collaboration is the only way we're going to get it done. And even that is not a panacea, but it's the only way we're going to get it done. And so I hope that we can work together as a city. Uh, I've got a family here. Uh, I've got a daughter and a son here. I hope that everybody works together for the greater good of this city. Right. How about we end it there?